fun to be in. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest superhero movie ripoffs. You brought this on yourselves. Now you might ask yourself why a well-respected district attorney would find himself in a situation like this. Well, let's pause here and I can tell you the story. You cling to old dreams. You are an embarrassment. For this list, we'll be looking at movies that attempt to replicate prominent caped crusaders and their films, but miss the mark with hilarious effect. What's your favorite superhero knockoff? Let us know any we've missed in the comments. Number 10. Thunderstorm – The Return of Thor Around the release of Marvel's Thor in 2011, director Brett Kelly decided to mix Iron Man's costume with Thor's powers. This birthed what looks like a student film where they just found out how to use Adobe After Effects. Dude, your hand! What the hell? Stop doing that! I can't! I, I don't know how I'm doing it! How am I supposed to stop doing it? I don't know what you're wrecking everything, though! Some religious zealots are trying to bring Hell, the Norse god of death, to Earth. Grant Farrell, the descendant of Thor, has to take them down. You've been chosen, Grant, to be Midgard's champion. A series of events unfold as we speak. Sinister events that shall end the world as you know it. And what results is some of the most hilariously abysmal acting in all of superhero ripoffs. Chris Hemsworth's crown as everyone's favorite god of thunder is safe. Number 9. Rise of the Black Bat. Director Brett Kelly strikes again. Bravo. This time, it was to ride the hype of Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Rises. The mockbuster follows District Attorney Tony Quinn, who can only see at night following surgery on his damaged eyes. I can see perfectly in the dark. No, the, the surgery. My eyes must have been worse than they thought. This is amazing. This results in him becoming the Black Bat to fight the city's criminal underworld. Reviews have criticized this hero as a poor mashup of Daredevil and Batman, but you may be surprised to learn that this character was actually published before both. That doesn't mean, however, that this movie comes close to other adaptations. From poor special effects and a royalty-free soundtrack to an uncomfortably long scene in what might be a strip club, this attempt at an edgy comic book movie is farcical and cringeworthy. Tell Oliver Snape that he better keep a nightlight on, because he's about to be afraid of the dark! Number 8. La Mujer Murcielago Batman has a Mexican counterpart, only she's a secret agent, investigator, and pro wrestler. In this unofficial adaptation of The Ace Detective, Maura Monti stars as the Batwoman as she investigates an evil scientist who's kidnapping pro wrestlers to make an evil gill man. Yes, it's as ridiculous as it sounds. The movie draws huge similarities in costumes and tone to the 1960s Adam West Batman. What we get is a somewhat competent and self-aware movie, an enjoyable watch, even if DC didn't get any kickback from the rights to the character. Number 7. Avengers Grimm The concept of a grittier version of fairy tale characters is great on paper, but production company The Asylum has never been fussy on execution. Much like Marvel's Avengers, popular fairy tale characters Red Riding Hood, Snow White, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella team up to repel invaders. We have to find Red and the mirror before the wolf leads her to Rumpelstiltskin. If that bastard gets his hands on it, he'll open the portal again and bring his army through. To our delight, the acting is stale, stunt doubles incredibly noticeable, and the Incredible Hulk actor Lou Ferrigno makes a fun appearance as Iron John. Go! Get out of here! Take my name with you. I'll take care of this. The film spawned a sequel called Time Wars, as well as a spin off Sinister Squad, ripping off DC's Suicide Squad. Talk about playing all the angles. That was dreadful. Number 6. Iron Hero, aka Metal Man. Mockbuster veterans Tomcat Films are back with this MCU lookalike, Metal Man. 
Our hero Kyle Finn gets stuck in a combat robot suit and seeks revenge on the goons who killed his family. But that's only when the movie decides it wants to make sense. Sometimes even the film forgets where it's going. The continuity in this film is so inconsistent it's difficult to follow. And while all of this bargain bin Avenger's powers may be difficult to discern, his ability to kick ass is never in question. <laughs> With out-of-focus shots, horrendous audio glitches, cartoonish special effects, and stupendously bad acting, this slapped-together film would be painful to watch if it wasn't so bad, it's good. <sighs> How does it taste? Have you ever accidentally eaten animal excrement? Mixed with sugar? Sorry, didn't have time to work on the taste. Can you get used to it? Number 5. Three Dev Adam, aka Three Mighty Men. Three Mighty Men? More like three mighty copyright infringements! Faced with a crime wave, Istanbul police call in two well known heroes to help. Look familiar? That's right, Captain America and Mexican wrestler El Santo. <laughs> The leader of the criminals is none other than Spider-Man, a homicidal version of the hero who takes care of business with his switchblade rather than traditional superpowers. <laughs> the film jumps randomly from murders to adult content with no explanation, confusing you every step of the way. This flick is so surreal, it's hard to believe it exists. Number 4. Almighty Thor The Asylum are notorious for creating films that ride on the coattail of higher-budget movies, just like their Avengers Grimm earlier in this list. But this film hasn't nearly got as creative a premise. That hammer is the only weapon that can kill the mighty tree it came from. The source of life on which mortal Earth and all other worlds depend. Now Loki has arrived to take that life, so you must give the hammer of invincibility to him. To Loki. After an attack on Asgard, Thor is tasked with retrieving the Hammer of Invincibility, which supposedly means the wielder can never be beaten. I sense it to the heart of the tree of life. But my son was alone retrieve it for Loki. Forget the hammer, father. However, everyone who uses the hammer ends up defeated, and that plot hole isn't even the worst part. Horrible CGI monsters, cliché writing, and surprisingly hilarious deliveries makes this film more a comedy than an action fantasy movie. Yes. No! Number 3. Daria Dill Little did you know that the greatest DC Marvel crossover was a Bollywood musical. Mind you, Superman and Spider-Man aren't actually the focus of the film. Daria Dill, meaning Generous Heart, just has two of its characters dress up as the costume heroes for a musical number. The movie is a family drama about a miserly industrialist, but it's this one scene that projected the film to internet memedom and solidified it as one of the most memorable and funniest live-action superhero adaptations ever. A Superman-Spider-Man romance? Hey, there's definitely chemistry there! Number 2. The Amazing Bulk Special effects are an active part of modern-day movie making. This feature film is what happens when you don't have the budget to follow through. Henry Howard is a young scientist working for the military who experiments on himself with his own serum. Well, here's nothing. The serum transforms him into a purple monster who roams around the city, buck naked, wreaking havoc. With half of the film being stock footage and the rest poorly imposed actors on 3D environments, you feel like you're in a fever dream. What have I done? What have I become? It's not hard to draw comparisons with Marvel's Big Green Dude, with the plot and characters heavily inspired by the Incredible Hulk. But what puts this film on the map for us is the unironic use of Comic Sans. That was a wild dream. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Italian Spider-Man On the heels of Sam Raimi's trilogy of wall crawler films, another Spider-Man movie was released. But the Australian parody film Italian Spider-Man had the web-slinger rocking a mustache and a shotgun. As he saves the world from criminal mastermind Captain Maximum, this version of the hero acts more like a costumed James Bond in a surreal, self-aware action flick. <laughs> he beats crocodile human hybrids with telephones, teleports around to beat up misogynists, and summons a penguin army to defeat his enemies. This film may have begun as a Spider-Man ripoff, but becomes a whole new funny and memorable experience by the end. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.